Hi, I'm James Ward. So Adobe recently announced Adobe Air, the Adobe Integrated Runtime, uh, is now available for Linux. And so I wanted to give you a quick demo of using the new Flex Builder for Linux with Air support and uh, Adobe Air on Linux. So here we go. First, let's start out. We're in, uh, we're in Flex Builder on Linux. This is Ubuntu Linux. And I've built a quick little application that just plays a video. And in Flex Builder, uh, this is really only a few clicks to create a new Flex project and make it a desktop application with Air. So let's, let's run this little application here and see what it does. Let's go run this as an Air application. And we'll see that this is now playing a video. So we have our, our video playing. And uh, this is a video of when I participated in the Cardboard Derby a long time ago. We built an Empire State Building out of cardboard. Okay, so that's cool. But, uh, you know, one of the things that Air can do that's pretty neat is it can actually talk to read files from the file system, uh, things that you can't do in the browser. It can do system notifications, native drag and drop, those sorts of things. So I wanted to actually um, do something interesting that we could do on Linux, but can't do inside the browser to show off Air. So we're gonna take the same application and I've created a component called a turbulent application. So we're just gonna turn this application into a turbulent application instead of a windowed application. We'll change the close tag here as well. So this is a component that I created that just reads the accelerometer values from my laptop. So now that compiled okay, now let's run this one. We'll run that as an error application. And now we're seeing the same exact video, but now because it's hooked up to my accelerometer, as I turn my laptop around, you'll see that the video is actually rotating in corresponding to the, the accelerometer values in my, uh, in my laptop. So as I rotate, it's trying to maintain the same pitch and roll that, that my laptop has as it's playing this video. And I'm using Paper Vision 3D to be able to actually do the, the 3D transformation of this video while I rotate my laptop around. So it's Paper Vision 3D using the accelerometer values from uh, using the accelerometer values that I'm reading from the file system on Linux. So I will close that out. Now let's say that we wanted to distribute this video uh, or this, this application out to some other people. Now, unfortunately, this one only runs on Linux, although Air applications in nature are cross-platform. They work the same across Windows, Mac, and Linux. Unfortunately, only Linux, as far as I know, allows you to read the accelerometer values from a file. So that's pretty cool. This will be just a, an, a Linux Air application. Um, but most of the time, Air applications are cross-platform. So what we need to do to allow other people to run this application is just export this. And we're just going to export this as an Air file. And what this is going to do for us is create a, an air file, which is a packaged version of our application that now we can distribute to other people. And as long as they have the air runtime, and in this case Linux, they can run this application. So here we have our air file that was just created by Flex Builder. And let's go now double click on this air file. That's going to launch the air installer. It's going to ask us if we're sure we want to install this application. And yes, we are, so let's install it. And then it's actually gonna run that application for us. So here it's running that application. And here it is, let's maximize that. So here again, same application that we saw before, but now um, not running in, in a debug version. And we can go and now launch this anytime we want just from, from our, uh, our applications menu on Linux. Here it is, Video Turbulence, and we can go launch that here, and again, the application. So there's also a lot of other really exciting Air applications being built uh, with, with Flex and Air. Um, one of those is the eBay Desktop. So eBay Desktop, not that one, eBay Desktop is an application that allows people to browse eBay uh, just on as a desktop application. They can get system notifications when they're outbid, um, and they, they have a, an interesting browsing experience for eBay. So we can go search for things like a motorcycle, this is actually searching the live uh, eBay, and let's go find a motorcycle here that my wife would definitely not want me to have. Um, don't see any on the first page. Let's 
popular day for motorcycle accessories. Here's a, here's a BMW, definitely a motorcycle my wife doesn't want me to have. Now, this is just uh, a really souped up version of eBay's site. Uh, we can flip through the pictures here uh, once they load. Um, we can flip through the pictures of this motorcycle. We can read the description. Interestingly, because Air includes an HTML web browser, uh, web kit, and the, the uh, regular Flash virtual machine, we actually can have, have both HTML and the highly interactive content. Let's try a different one here so we can get some images to load. There we go. So we can have the, the really cool animations and effects that you get uh, inside Flash as well as the regular HTML support that you get inside of, the, uh, inside of a web browser. So, so eBay is a great, uh, a great application showing off some of the strengths of, of, uh, of the Adobe Air Runtime. And of course it, it runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows, the Air Runtime. And so most applications built with Air should run on those platforms as well, except for my little turbulent application. So that's it. That's a quick overview of uh, Adobe Air on Linux and also Flex Builder on Linux. I hope that you get a chance to go download uh, Adobe Air for Linux and uh, Flex Builder for Linux. You can find those on labs.adobe.com. And as well, you can find some interesting projects, open source, other open source projects like the open source Flex SDK, which runs on Linux at opensource.adobe.com. So let us know what you think. Thanks.